Yeah, video, go. Ah, Mabrook. Yes. Boys. And this is a souk. Wow. Assalamu alaikum. Kevalik. Uh, very good. Shukran. And this is uh, the business. Uh, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, 1.30. And I've got my Dakar uh, cap on. Now, how was that for a farmer's um, daily or maybe it's a weekly uh, uh, farming day, uh, selling day, uh, business day? Quite interesting, very interesting. And that is Saudi Arabia. Every town, every small village, there's business. People is dealing. People is uh, making a living. Wow, I hope you enjoy this video. Don't tell me that you don't enjoy it. Food stock for the animals. Two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm hungry. I'm gonna look for something to eat. And this afternoon I want a shawarma. And this is the butcher. Ah, oh, very good. Butchery here in Saudi Arabia. Fresh meat. And look at this fat. And this is camel meat. Wow. What is your name? My name is uh, Pashe. Pashe. Making a shawarma for me. And there is the chicken roll there at the back. Shawarma in Saudi. And my friend from Africa eating. Look there. Good. Good. Thank you. Let me show you. This guy is staying, living here in the desert. And I, I know you can't guess what this is. This is bee farming for honey. Is it called bee farming or is it called honey farming? I guess it's bee farming. I'm not going to open my window. You can see it's closed on this side. The wind is blowing against these boxes. And everyone is uh, trying to make a living. Watermelons. Wow, for another few hundred meters. Just watermelons. And look at the back. And this guy is selling tea also. Look at the back, nothing, nothing in the desert. Look at this. Beautiful. The roots of Islam. Pray time is pray time. And the prices of the two uh, different fuel, 91 octane, one uh, Saudi real 52 halala and 95 is two real uh, seven halala. I just filled up a fill in the bottom uh, center of the console is 12.8 uh, liters per hundred kilometer. Uh, I did 350 kilometers, 51 liters, and it was 107 Saudi real, so equivalent to about 700 rand. Um,
So yeah, it's 50, 60% of the South African price. And as you can see, it's a foggy day out there. The last uh, 150, 200 kilometers, strong wind. And uh, from certain, from time to time, a lot of sand uh, blowing across the, uh, the highway, then I will slow down, not to damage my car in front. And a little bit of greenish uh, here in the desert, but look at the back, all sand dunes with nothing. So what is a desert without uh, sand uh, blown over the highway or the uh, asphalt? This is normal. Luckily it's not a dust storm and this is not dust. There's no more dust left in the desert. This is small particles of sand grains blown across the highway. So it's uh, damaging a car in front all the way at this speed of 130 km an hour it's getting, my car is getting sandblasted in the front. A Saudi Land Cruiser V6 Petrol. Wait, wait, uh, wait a little bit, don't go away. I'm taking a little bit of a deer tour on the way to Jeddah, 90 kilometers from Jeddah. I want to go and show you something special that I've been visiting for the last, yeah, 10 years. And this is the inland lake, inland inside the desert. Sorry for the bumps. That's the Red Sea and I'm driving here on the beach. And uh, look there, look there. What can you see there in the sunlight now? In the, in the mirror on the um, Red Sea. A stranded ship. Look there. Well, it's not the ideal time with the sun setting, but let me uh, block the sun and there you can see the stri Strickton ship. It's been there for 10 years. Well, that's the best shot I'm going to get uh, today in this late afternoon sun sunlight. Lying on its uh, starboard side, is it? It's too deep to salvage, lying on the reef. And that is where I'm driving. Let me close the window. And there is a tugboat, a stranded tugboat. There used to be two of them. And a few kilometers further, there was a big ship, a big cargo ship, with it, the tugboat still uh, tied with the cable and both stranded. Do not know what went wrong here, but uh, in total, in the last uh, 15 years that I know of this, uh, this spot, there was five ships that were stranded. Two ships were successfully salvaged uh, down to the water uh, line. And look here, just past the mirror, looks like a, a boiler or a part of a boiler, ship steaming boiler. And there's a tugboat or a fishing trawler, but it looks like a tugboat. And the mast has came down already. That's something new. I haven't seen that one before. And this is a small little fisher village. That's all the fishing boat, the boats. Private contractors and all the fish is then sold in Jeddah. Fresh fish from the Red Sea. And this is a better view of this uh, inland lake, seawater lake, right here in the desert. And this is Highway 5, looking in the southerly direction. This is, I came uh, from uh, Darb. This Highway 5 starts in or at the border of Yemen and all the way to the north. 2,000 kilometer long. Well, time is running out. Let me get going. That's it. That's today's 600 kilometer road trip from Darb to Jeddah. Jeddah is uh, 50 kilometers away. It's 5.30 in the afternoon. I will get into Jeddah at uh, big time. Uh, very busy city. 
millions of people staying there. I have some business to do in Jeddah and then go and find a hotel. Of course, there's thousands of hotel rooms. I hope there's one room for me. Any case, uh, thank you for um, joining me today. I hope this was interesting and I hope for you, all your, uh, my wife, my children, friends, family, friends worldwide. I hope to see you here. January next year during the Dakar rally take a week just a week I will go and show you the Dakar plus this country very interesting country stuff that you will never see in the world the Hijaz railway line Al Ula Wadi Disha Neom the new city North of Neom is still a plane lying on the beach for 40 years and 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 the list is very long and then the interesting people the people you saw today you can stop you can chat you can make a friend well it's very close to the end of this long video thank you very much And this is where the second hand dealers, used car dealers is situated in Jeddah. You only see a drop in the bucket. This is a busy place. I'm now on the Mecca Jeddah highway or one of the highways leading from Mecca. But what I want to show you on the right hand side there in the middle of the picture, unfortunately you can't see it very clear and I missed the turn off, is uh, still a resem resemblance of the old uh, Jeddah wall that was built around the old city of Jeddah. And I can see the wall uh, from where I am. Uh, maybe it's too dark on the camera, but I will show you another day. I hope you can see it. I hope you can see the parts of the, the old original wall. Wow. Well, my camera is not set up for uh, night uh, photography or night video. This is Jeddah, one of the highways leading through the city. And this is nightlife. Of course, nightlife uh, traffic night traffic the same as in any other big city in the world the difference here is it carries on until midnight and weekends up to one two o'clock in the mornings a busy city well we've just passed my wife maria's uh, favorite mall the red sea mall and i must admit that is a magnificent mall now we are Passing another mall here, and that is uh, with the nice. The roundabout onto King Abdulaziz Road. Yeah, yeah, and that with the nice purple colors. Uh, Roshan Mall, but Red Sea Continue Mall on King is. Abdulaziz Road for two kilometers. Yeah, yeah, Red Sea Mall is something special. Just a warning to all the men: when you bring your wife, it's bankruptcy, okay? When she gets into the Red Sea Mall. Hide the money, hide the cards. That's a friendly warning. Quarter past seven on this beautiful Monday evening, and I'm in Jeddah, 670 kilometers for the day. No, for the day, for the afternoon. And um, what an interesting day it was. I think the Chinese say it's better to travel 100 miles than to read a book. Well, I agree. I hope you've enjoyed the day with me. It's now time for me to find a hotel and then head back to Yambu tomorrow morning. Cheers for now. Khoi milis.